for reinforcement, you can always get rebar. And some, that would be okay. This is what about four foot long to lay in the bottom of the concrete. And you could also go for just a short one. What, that's about 18 inches, two foot, to lay several across the bottom. And then there's a little bit heavier, same length. And my hands are going to be filthy. But. I think maybe the hardware cloth might be best. Now there is galvanized metal lathe. I can't even pull that out because it's connected. That's similar to hardware cloth. Now here's some of the lath that I can pull up and show you. It's kind of lighter than the hardware cloth that I'll show you, but I think you may run into the same problem with this. When you try to cut it, it's just going to be such sharp edges, just like the hard weather cloth. But this is like to go behind drywall or plaster or whatever so you can plaster over the wall. So that's not anything I'm going to use. Now for reinforcement, you could use poultry netting buried in the sides. This is in 2248, has the one inch little opening, and you get 50 foot pieces. That's all they have on sale right now. Something really huge, I don't know if you could use regular fencing, but it's this, here's my hardware. Now this is what I call hardware cloth, but it has little buck shapes like that. And I'll have a half inch opening, or I don't know, this must be the one inch opening. And you buy it in sheets. So I think it's pretty expensive. Now some Ace Hardwares, places like that might ship, sell it by the foot. This one is a half inch plug, $28.98. So you really have to want it bad. That's 10 foot of it. Three foot by 10 foot for $16. Here's one. Very, very dense one. It says you can easy, even use that two block soffit quarter inch. But those are the things I have used previously the hardware cloth. And I think we had, if I'm not mistaken, it was the half inch. But those are your choices. And this is in the lawn and garden area because it's hard to find you think it might be in builders to reinforce cement but you can see the different types up there but that's what i use to reinforce huge pots which i rarely make now when we get to the part where we need to cut on this hardware cloth, it gets really, really difficult. And this is the part that I don't like about using hardware cloth. Now you should always wear gloves, heavy, um, I don't know, construction gloves. My husband would not wear gloves for this. I don't know what that proves, but um, you have to, once you cut it, you have all those little sticks like needles that stick out along the sides and you've got to bend those and then crimp those into shape so that you don't keep running into that needle projection and 
once um, you have the ends and everything exactly like you like them, um, I'm not sure what the little piece that he crimped it back with is called, but just something that, like a plier that crimped it back. But we did not have a good time. We got poked several times, and this is, these are stiff and heavy wires. If you've used chicken wire, this is just, I don't know, 50% stronger than chicken wire. It's really hard to use. That's why I don't recommend using this unless you feel like you have to. Now, in this portion, we will get to burying the hardware cloth in the hypertufa. Now this is a really large one that I'm burying. We have formed probably a one or two inch bottom and now are laying the chicken wire platform down onto the top of that um, still wet hypertufa mix. It has an oval bottom so we've had to crimp it into the shape of an oval to get full coverage on the bottom and once we get it in there then we take more of the hypertufa mix and throw it down on top and just press it through. You just make sure that you get, um, let's say another inch or so on the top, so you can see where this would be for definitely a larger piece. It wouldn't be for a small plant or anything like that. I don't even think you need it. And as I explain on the post on my website, I feel that this is just to keep you when you lift or change position of your piece, um, it'll keep it from buckling in the center. At least that's what I look for. Now we've got all the hypertufa mix spread. This is a large trough that I made and I'm gonna have a video on the making of that soon. But we've got it all pressed in, smoothed out, and all that hardware cloth is buried. That's what you end up with. Just it buried, you can't see it. You have to get all those little ends um, buried so that nothing protrudes out that'll scrape you or scratch you. And that's why we crimped it all in the edges so there's no needles, no um, little, little razored edges. If you trim it closely, for instance, trim that needle off, you'll have a little razor edge that you can get hurt on. So using the hardware cloth, or if you use that lath, that's probably what you'd end up with. So, I don't know, it's up to you. This is what my trough turned out like. You can't tell how large it is based on this little small picture, but I'm gonna have a full making of that shortly up here on my channel.